Well, welcome, Vice President. You are a dear, a dear friend to the Jewish people and to the State of Israel. We are very proud, and I would like to thank you about your speech yesterday, about the strong, the warm, and the very special word that you used yesterday in our shrine of democracy, in our parliament, in our Knesset, at Jerusalem, the capital of the State of Israel. You are very proud always to stand very firm behind your words in words and in action. And for that, we have only one word to describe you. You are a mensch. <laughs> now, in America, probably, they know what is the meaning of mensch. But for those people in Israel who doesn't know American <laughs> or Yiddish, I would say, a mensch is a real human being. Voila, ben adam. And we are very proud to have you along with us. As a Jerusalemite, and I'm a Jerusalemite, son of Jerusalemite, son of the son of Jerusalemite, I uh, am here uh, born as seventh generation to my family. We have come to Jerusalem 210 years ago. 100 years we have lived with our neighbors and our cousins, um, uh, the Arab community in Jerusalem in harmony. Uh, unfortunately, we are now in a sort of tragedy for both of us. Uh, they are, most of them refuse even to recognize the very existence of the State of Israel. But uh, we are so very proud as Jerusalemites about the decision of uh, President Trump about uh, recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. President Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as, as Israel's capital, uh, we hope is the clearest sign yet uh, of the unwavering commitment uh, of the United States of America uh, to Israel. Um, uh, as I announced yesterday, Mr. President, um, uh, President Trump has directed our State Department, working with Ambassador Friedman, uh, to complete uh, the transition of moving our embassy uh, here uh, to Jerusalem uh, by the end of next year. We are uh, sending a signal uh, to uh, the, our European allies uh, that the time has come for changes uh, in the Iran nuclear deal that will ensure uh, that the sunset provisions in the deal are completely eliminated and that punitive sanctions uh, will be available um, uh, it, for, for many years to come to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon, and you have our commitment uh, to work closely with our allies around the world to achieve that. ISIS, and at the end, uh, we will like to exchange ideas about what is going on.